Hi y'all, Katsumi here. Today, let's review this little clone command post. I don't know why the name isn't on the box. I had to look it up. Set number 40558. Lego has officially... No, wait, have they been doing this? I forget, actually. Anyways, it hasn't been done in a while in Lego Star Wars. These little minifigure packs with three minifigures and then little thingamabob accessory moments. This is definitely a marketing tactic now that uh, battle packs are 20 officially, right? From, from up from 15. This, these are now 15. Wait, are they 20? Bro, me having to look it up. Lego Star Wars jump, um, Hoth Battle Pack. Yes, now that the price of Battle Packs is officially 20, this is their new $15 offering to fill that price range in the market. So let's see, let's see. It's kind of controversial almost, right? Like, oh my gosh, this new thing. Oh, and I, for I almost forgot. Additionally, this clone pilot or whatever. In fact, do they have... Okay, they don't tell me like which one is which. Anyways, I know a little bit about that. This yellow guy was also in the UCS Republic uh, gunship, which is silly. Not well, okay. They kind of said, like, oh, we want the figure should be exclusive, but I think it's silly because um, it should be exclusive, they should be exclusive in there. And we, if you're familiar with the Republic gunship in general, you know that there's lots of drama uh, involving like that it's not actually the ship that we wanted, the minifigures are just bonuses or whatever. Like, basically, all in all. <laughs> The Lego design team it doesn't do that good of a job of listening to us as fans, and they have a bias towards the original trilogy, and maybe an anti bias, and maybe a hatred. No, not hatred. That's a strong word. And maybe a bit of a disdain. Okay, I'm looking for a good word. Basically, they treat the prequels a little bit differently, a little bit worse, we can say. But anyways, let's review this set. Um, Without all that baggage, that's just a little historical context for you. Let's build and review the set. As you can see, we're in for a bit of a different unboxing experience as it's on these little uh, shelvable, hanging, thin packages. And all the pieces are literally in this little minifigure-shaped clear plastic container. So, oh, we still have the same Lego tape with the little black bar. So I think, oh, okay, well, good thing I didn't want to save this anyway. Because I'm just going to go ahead and tear this high fear. Oh, and then the minifigure pops right out. This is very thin cardboard. And the bag is just one. The bag's the bag has all the pieces. Just one little bag. Okay, that's kind of fun. This should take me no time at all. Not me being a horror and wanting to keep this. I think this looks so cute. And it has this little, the Lego Group 2017. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a way to make this look uh, useful. <laughs> and literally six minutes later, here we are. It took me six minutes and four seconds. And that gives me a seconds per piece of 5.51. My second fastest only in front of, I mean, only second to the bonsai tree where I got 4.87 seconds per piece. Oh my god, how cute. It's a li it literally is the new battle pack, unfortunately. Because you get three minifigures and a lot of little... Ex like, I got, you know, I just got five guns now. Two long ones with candles that are on this little weapons rack here with a small display panel. The white clones, the standard ones, have a medium gun with a, uh, as well with a candlestick extension. And then the yellow king, who looks stunning. And yeah, the yellow is just... A perfect shade of yellow. I am giving it to them. The color designers, the color choosers, the um, people who developed the plastic of that color. Maybe I just have a bias for the color yellow, but he looks really good. He has a standard medium uh, gun. 
As you can see, this standard clone, he is standing in the command station. And the command station looks like it could be floating or flying. It's a simple little build. Well, something I found interesting is that they used two 3x1s instead of one 6x1. I think that was literally for the space constraint of the small plastic container that this set was going in. Interesting. We have a small sonar dish. We have a nice rounded front. I would have loved a small cone piece in red, like right here. This It just feels a little like, like a gap. But another control, green control panel, another control panel, which I'm, I think is not from Star Wars, but I don't mind. I think it looks fine. And then two more 2 by one tile control panels printed on either side. He is controlling many things at this station. I added the extra, the one extra piece, which was this piece, to the back to be exhaust or something or more sonar or whatever. Because this can also be a little sensor. Um, but also they can hold the weapons. These, I think these are supposed to be ramps, but they do work as doors. And, like, that looks cool. And then here we go, even more of an idea of meow. <laughs> Because it is a very small scale. What else is there to say? This is such a cute little um, a battle, not battle pack, minifigure pack. Wait, I want to see him come closer, actually. Yep. He, I am just obsessed. I am glad I got this. And I didn't even have to buy the whole Rep UCS Republic gunship to get it. Wow. What an honor. <laughs> the four little dots look really good. Um, oh, and then, yeah, let's make sure we compare it properly. Oh, King, don't fall over. They, I'm pretty sure they, yes, they have the exact same printing, but he just has the additional yellow details and yellow arms. Um, so they all look like this. And they have the standard clone head with, um, slightly darker pale skin. All right, uh, clone command, I keep calling it clone command post, clone command station, I'm going to give it four stars. It's just great. It, I mean, it's just good. Yeah, it's just great. It's not like amazing drop dead. It's just great. And for the people who know they want it, here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, see you in the comments. Do you have this set? Are you obs as obsessed with the yellow color as I am? Um, how do you use it? Do you use it as an accessory to another set? And yeah, answer those questions and say literally anything else you want in the comments below. See you there. May the force be with you.